What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and today I am making another comfortable Game Boy. Look, I know it's not really a mod, and it's only the second mod Monday, but I mean, technically it's a hardware mod. Or is it a software? Anyway, let's just get to the build. This thing was not in the best condition, so let's fix it up. After removing the 101 screws, we gotta clean this bad boy up. I put all the plastic pieces in a bucket so they can soak in some hot soapy water while we fix the electronics. But before we do that, we gotta get rid of some corrosion on the battery contacts. I haven't seen anyone talk about this before, but here's my secret to getting rid of corrosion. Grab a small bowl and some CLR. Pour it in the bowl and drop your corroded metal in. Watch as the corrosion fizzles away and then take it out once it stops bubbling. Then just rinse it off and it's good as new. Now we gotta fix those lines on the screen. The way we do that is taking this piece off here and... are you kidding me? Okay, now that we got that off, just heat up your soldering iron and we're gonna rub it all across where that bar was. Hey, who forgot to clean the soldering iron? Oh well, just ignore that. After a bit of rubbing, there's no genie, but we have a screen that is looking good as new. Alright, those have been soaking long enough. Enjoy some elevator music while I scrub them down with my mom's toothbrush. Now that everything is dry, let's grab our spray adhesive and bring out our inner Peter Parker. This material was handcrafted by Edna Mode in Milan just for this build. After a while of drying, just cut off the excess and rinse and repeat for the other half. Put it all together and now you have your very own fuzzy boy. So yeah, this is, this is it. This is the fuzzy boy. And yeah, there are buttons underneath it. This thing turned out kind of nice. I kind of like that I didn't get it perfectly clean in the screen lens there. There's just the fuzz popping out. But yeah, I totally forgot about the screen lens, so I just glued it on. I don't know if I got footage of that or not. No, the cuts aren't clean, but when is anything ever clean looking on my channel, huh? I cut the battery door so it's like a drop down. I thought that was easier and cooler. But batteries are already in it, my test card is in it, and just gotta turn it on, and oh my gosh, it works. And uh, yes, all the buttons work. You just probably can't see when I press A and B on this thing, because it's covered <laughs> by that, but literally everything works. You just kind of have to know where the buttons are, but I've played so much Game Boy that I know where they are. I should know where the buttons are by art. It's just Tetris. But, yeah. I don't think you really need to watch me play Tetris again. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this other than hit that subscribe button if you want more stupid mods like this. This idea was half my brother in law's, half my dad's. But yeah, if you have any other suggestions for mods. I don't know if I would do any other mods like this one because the fuzz will never stop coming off. Put that there for now. Probably will not be there next video. But yeah, I have, I don't know if I'll do another video like this one, but if you have any ideas for silly Game Boy mods, then uh, or just silly video game mods in general, let me know. Comments are always there for you. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Listen to Brittany. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Only 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed. Please, I'd like to change that number. Check out Patreon if you can afford to support me there. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you to these lovely humans for supporting me there right now. But I think that's all for now, so I will see you guys on Friday for the next one. Later, guys.
think I had enough bits in there of me being frustrated with the noise going on in this area. I love living on a busy road. Love it. Pour it into a bowl. That's the wrong pour, I just realized. Pour it into the bowl. Wait for the car to go by. Then start the line over. Wait for another car to go by. How many cars are gonna drive by? We live out in the middle of nowhere, but it's still a busy road! You had to have heard that one. 